example. So let's say that I gave you a problem that looks something like this, okay? I said that um, 1.9 kiloliters is equivalent to how many milliliters? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and set up one of these problems just like I always do. I put a box in the top left, that's where my number goes. 1.9 and I have to attach the unit. 1.9 kiloliters goes in the top left hand corner. On the bottom right, I'm going to put my question mark milliliters. Now, I can use a couple of dominoes. I can use as many as I'd like. I have a couple that I like to memorize and I think that you should memorize them as well. One liter is the exact same thing as 100 centiliters, which makes sense because centi, just like there's a hundred years in a century or 100 cents is a dollar, one liter is 100 centiliters, one liter is also 1,000 milliliters, okay, like um, a millennium is a thousand years, okay, and then 1,000 liters equals one kiloliter. Now those right there are dominoes, okay, those are conversion factors. Now wherever the equal sign is, that's where the line goes. So, those are the three dominoes that I keep memorized because we use them so often. Okay, now, let's see, I have kiloliters up here in the top left hand corner, so I'm going to go ahead and use this domino right here because it has kiloliters. So I'm going to put the one kiloliter on the bottom, put 1,000 liters up top. Now, that cancels my kiloliters, which is great, but now I'm stuck with liters, and I need milliliters, so I'm going to take this a step further and look for one that involves milliliters. Well, this one right here is great because I can put one liter here and then 1,000 milliliters on the other side. Now, what would happen if I put the one liter up here on top? Well, you'd see that the liters don't cancel, so that wouldn't work. But because it's a domino, I can flip it. So why don't I put the one liter on the bottom and put the 1,000 milliliters up top? That way the liters cancel milliliters cancel, and because everything has canceled, I'm done. Now it's just plug and chug. So I pull out my calculator and I say 1.9 times 1,000 times 1,000 is equal to 1.9 times 10 to the 6th, and then on the bottom we have 1 times 1, which is just 1, which means that 1.9 times 10 to the 6th is my answer. Now what are the units? Because you have to have a unit. Well, the question mark was for milliliters, so the answer has to be 1.9 times 10 to the 6th milliliters. So 1.9 kiloliters is the exact same thing as 1.9 times 10 to the 6th milliliters. Okay, so again, make sure you know your metric conversions because we use those again and again. But it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be any kind of unit that you're familiar with. For example, we could do something kind of bizarre. Let's say that you decided to um, own your own orchard and you ended up with a whole bunch of apples. Okay, All right, apples. So let's say that you have 500 apples and you're getting really tired of eating apples and so you'd like to go ahead and trade those for some limes and make yourself some limeade. So you want to know how many limes can you get for your 500 apples? Well, let's go ahead and set this thing up. Well, what number goes in the top left hand corner? Well, the only number we have, which is 500. So 500 apples goes in the top left hand corner. Okay, limes goes over here in the bottom right. So question mark limes right there. Now I need some dominoes, I need some conversion factors. So let's say that you went to the farmer's market and you found out that for every one apple, someone would give you two oranges. Well, that's a pretty good deal, but you don't want oranges, right? But you also find out that for every two oranges, someone else might give you um, three kiwi. Oh, I love kiwi. Anyway, um, let's see, kiwi. 
And then someone else says, well, for every, every one orange, I will give you three limes. So each of those are now conversion factors. They're all dominoes. So let's go ahead and set up our problem here. Well, to start with, I need a conversion factor that involves apples, so I'm going to use this first one right there. Now, where do I want my one apple? Well, I can't put it on the top because then it wouldn't cancel, so I'm going to write one apple here on the bottom. That means that the two oranges has to go up top, okay? You cannot snap this domino in half. If it says one apple on one side, two oranges on the other, it has to stay exactly like that. Now, the next part is a little tricky because I have a choice here. I could either convert my oranges to kiwi or I could convert oranges to limes. Now, I'm not going to use this kiwi one because despite despite the fact that I love kiwi, the kiwis don't help me to get into limes, okay? So instead I'm going to use this third conversion factor. So there's a trick there. Remember that you don't have to use every conversion factor that's given to you on, on a problem, okay? There are a ton of conversion factors out there. Only use the ones you need. So if I write my one orange here on the bottom, then I can go ahead and write three limes up here on top. Now you'll notice Apples cancel apples, oranges cancel oranges, and limes cancel limes. That means I can go ahead and stop my problem now because I've canceled all of my units out. Now, there are weird units, but that doesn't matter. Okay, the only thing left is I need to pull out my calculator and go ahead and do some multiplication and division. So 500 times 2 is 1,000 times 3 is 3,000. On the bottom here, 1 times 1 is 1. That means that my answer is going to be 3,000. Well, what are my units? Well, the question mark was limes, so my unit has to be limes, which means 500 apples will give me 3,000 limes. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple method, but it's incredibly useful, okay? So make sure you understand this right now, um, because otherwise it's just going to make things much more difficult in the future. So uh, thanks, and uh, goodbye.